When Union Electric was building the dam, they were from St. Louis, and they had an airplane and a pilot that would fly the, the big wigs, you know, back and forth to check on the progress of the dam. And the man who flew the plane for Union Electric is the same man who taught Charles Lindbergh how to fly. Oh, wow. It was his flight instructor. And so they became friends, and then uh, right, right around the same time that the dam was completed and all is the time that uh, Lindbergh flew, you know, did his transatlantic flight to France. And when he landed in France, they were like tearing his clothes off of him. They were tearing his plane apart to get souvenirs. They had to bring in the military to protect his plane so he could fly it home. And um, I mean, he was a big celebrity, you know, like. Taylor Swift status, you know, at the time, just for doing that flight. And um, then he flew that plane, the Spirit of St. Louis, flew it all over the world, you know, showing off and everything. And um, everywhere he went, he was bombarded by people, paparazzi, like he had no peace, you know. And um, so he would fly to the Lake of the Ozarks to visit his friend who was that pilot. And he said that the only place in the entire world that people did yeah. not bombard him, the only place he got any peace was when he came to the lake wow. to see his friend. I have found something else to do off the water at the Lake of the Ozarks and this one you got to hear about. It's called Lake Ozark Food Tours. Yes. And I am here today to actually participate with some friends of mine mm -hmm. and we are going to learn all about this before we take you on the tour. So first, let's find out who put this together. So if you can <laughs> kind of introduce yourself and okay. let's Tell us about this. My name is Perry Bales, and I started this last summer. Um, I am a school teacher. I teach at School of the Osage High School. Cool. I teach all the culinary arts classes. Oh, that's appropriate. Yes, and uh, over the years, uh, I, I teach this class called Pro Start, and we go to a competition. And so I've had several chefs come in and help us with our competition. And so um, actually last year we won for the state of Missouri. Cool. So we got to represent Missouri at the national competition in Washington, DC. Very cool. So anyway, over the years I've met a lot of the chefs in town. And I just, um, a few years ago, I went on a food tour with my daughters in Charleston mm -hmm. and we loved it. And the whole time I just kept thinking, I think this would work at the lake, especially down on the strip where you can walk. Yeah. And um, so anyway, talked to some of my chef friends and and here Put it, it together. is. Put so, it together. So yeah. currently, and what we're going to do today is a, a strip tour, yep. which means we're going to like hop to different restaurants and we're going to yes. try like something, a signature food item. Yes. Just a little bit at each place, okay. but by the end, I promise you'll be full. Right. I, I love it. Yes. I love it. And it's going to expand. You're going to expand this, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. Uh, but when you started this only a year ago, mm -hmm. you do this on Fridays and Saturdays? Uh, during the school year, just Saturdays because I have to teach. But course, in the yeah. summer, um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, okay. During the week as yep. well. Mm -hmm. All right. And so give us a little little taste of what we can expect today and what somebody could expect if they signed up for something like this. What are we going to do today? Okay. Um, we're going to walk. On this tour, it's all walking. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll go into the restaurant. They should have everything already set up for us, hopefully. Nice. And uh, they'll bring us out the dish you'll try it and then we'll just get up and walk to the next place Perfect. and in the meantime I'll give you a little history of the area okay so. awesome and I, is there a max number of people that can come on these tours uh, no more than 12 no more than 12 so. okay so is there a yeah. minimum number nope I've taken the smallest I've taken is two people just a couple that's yes. cool and there's so. not there's not like an additional cost if it's less people or a savings if there's more people no, no, okay. it's just same. Awesome. I love it. Same I love for it. everyone. <laughs> and so uh, what about alcohol? Can we drink? You can drink, but you have to buy that. Your, my insurance won't allow me to serve alcohol. Yeah. So yeah. you can definitely get that yourself, but that's not included. But the everything that we're eating is included in the price of the tour, yes. which is $75 a person. Yes. And you don't have to tip. I do the tipping. Oh, cool. I, I pay for the food and I do all the tipping. So that's fantastic. Yeah, it's just we walk in, we eat, we walk out. And how long, kind of do these tours, how long do these tours last, typically? Uh, three hours. Okay, awesome, yep. awesome. And yep. how many restaurants are we going to hit? 
Uh, today, well, usually we hit seven, sometimes eight. It okay. kind of depends. Some of my rest, you know, sometimes I change things up a little bit, but. That is fantastic. Yes. And now I mentioned that you've got more coming. So currently it is, or it has been just the strip, but now yes. you're going to offer additional tours. Tell yes. us about those and when, when, when that's coming. Uh, so this, I call this one the sample the strip tour. Cool. And then I'm going to have another one. I've, I've already done it once. I'm kind of working out the kinks, but I am going to have one called Taste the Town. We'll go to places like JB Hooks, Baxter's, 1932 Reserve, oh, those kinds of places. Wow. And then I also want to have one uh, called Binge the Bend, where we would go to restaurants down Horseshoe Bend Parkway. Cool. So Awesome. Well, yeah. as a Camden, so be driving as a Camden tenor, I am going to lobby to do something in Camden. In Camden, yes. <laughs> yeah. And then and then our friends there from Lori, they're going to say the same thing uh, yeah. about Lori. Yeah, well, hey, we can, maybe I, I can it. just branch out. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, I tell you what, I don't think there's anything else to do other than to go... Get Eat started. Food. Let's do it. All right, let's go. All right. So uh, I want to talk first. Tell you a little bit about the dam. So the whole point, the whole reason that Lake Ozark is here is because of the dam, you know. And um, so some fun facts about that. Um, when Union Electric decided to build the dam, it was just two months later. They had started building. Just two months later, the stock market crashed, and so. Everyone was looking for work. Um, people were trying to, you know, people would work a whole day on a farm and get 50 cents a day. So down here at the dam, they were paying 32 cents an hour. So everyone wanted to work here. People were coming from all over the country. I'm gonna pause that right there and here's why. The Bagnell Dam Strip history that Perry provides was a bonus. We thought we were just gonna be eating food. So you need to go and experience it for yourself and get the full history that she provides throughout the entire tour. Now, let's get on with the food part of the tour. So this place, you guys, it's a hidden gem. It's, um, I mean, like the tables are made out of two by fours and stuff. So what is our first stop? But it's amazing. This is Caribbean mix. Uh, everyone who works here is from the Dominican Republic. It's really? a family. It's like I didn't even know this was here. It's so good. There you go, it's a hidden gem. They import all of their spices, that's what you're smelling. They import all their spices. And then we have some fries with our house sauce coming. Also, we just dropped the fries, so they're fresh for you guys. Okay, squeeze a little lime on top if you want to. And so what are we eating here? This is a birria taco from Caribbean Mix. See, this the parking lot. Yes. <laughs> I could swim in that sauce. I'm telling you what, it's so good. So they only make the birria tacos on like Fridays and Saturday. I think Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So just know that if you come on a Tuesday, you can't get them. So. Ketchup mayo based sauce, so we're making house. So we have like chili based and stuff like that. And a lot more seasonings too. So they, so I know these are just french fries, but try their, I just want you to try their sauce. And they have an item on the menu that it's french fries with ground beef and the sauce and cheese. Like it's, oh my gosh, it's so good. Try, if you come back, you have to get that. Oh wow. Yeah, it's unexpectedly good, right? Just like, you want to bathe in that one? I want to. <laughs> yeah. Say the sauce again. What's the sauce? Well, he, it's their house, it's their house sauce. He called it a Cane's? A Cane's, Cane's style. Style. Like mayonnaise and ketchup with some like special seasonings. Yeah, but they put all their it's Caribbean seasonings in there. Yep, they told me they'd have to kill me. And they will all give you water. And if you want soda or tea or lemonade or something, just let me know, I'll get that for you. But I just, I can't give you alcohol. So you can get your own oh, alcohol if you want. <laughs> Welcome. Where to next? Okay, now we're going to head over here to Walk and Roll. I've always wondered about this place and I've never oh, taken the Oh, it's time amazing. To it. So, the lady who is the chef and who owns the place, she she is the walk in the name okay. and her husband who has since passed away, but uh, he was in a wheelchair. So he's the roll, get yeah. it? Walk and Roll. And um, she is a big deal chef like all over the world she has cooked all over the world she's cooked for famous people and all kinds of stuff um, and she moved here because of her husband and now she's still here so it's kind of amazing that we have such a good chef here at the lake This 
Grace. This is the lady I was just telling you about. This is Nock. She owns the restaurant. She's the chef. And uh, will you just tell them what, what we have today? Oh, you have spring roll and uh, satay. And what we made, we made here in-house. No MSG. We offer a lot of food. It can do vegan, so we will cater to all the allergy that customers have. No, I mean, I'm not cooking from the head, I cook from the heart. No. Yes. Can you tell them about the different sauces? Okay, let me speak. The soy sauce is also gluten free soy sauce. And this is like a sweet and sour, you know, that sauce. Chicken satay with a peanut sauce. And then we have their spring rolls, which you can try all of their homemade sauces with. So spring rolls are from China where they uh, say that it gives you wealth and prosperity. So I've been eating them a long time though and it hasn't worked. Yet, <laughs> the wealth part? <laughs> yeah. So everything here is made in house. They don't, you know, there's nothing that's like shipped in frozen and they just stick it in the fryer. It's not like that. It's all made in here. They even have a little cook back there, one of their uh, main cooks, and she's one of my former students. So oh, really? I love that. So have you all ever been to this place, Walk and Roll? Nope. No? No, we were just talking about it. We walk by it all the time. And we're guilty about going to the big places, and yeah. we should. We, we've always said Well, because, you know, you're a little scared to try something new, because what if you didn't like it and you should have gone to the other place? I know. That's why I love this food tour because it lets people try, yeah, you know, kind of try too. before you buy sort of a scenario. I really like those two sauces. Yeah, I, was yes. I like them all. But. So chicken satay actually Go. originated in Indonesia, so see, that's what I mean, like she has all different kinds of foods. I love that peanut sauce. Ooh, mm. yeah. All right, tour guide, where to all next? All right, right this way. Where are we heading? We're going to stop right up here. At Tucker Shuckers? No, right here at the barber shop. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, you guys, this place is a barber shop right now, but back when the dam was first built, this was the. Psych! You thought I was going to let you listen in on what that barber shop used to be. Uh uh, you are gonna have to go book your own tour. Let's go to Tucker Shuckers. So have a seat. Tell us where we are now. Okay, we are at Tucker's Shuckers. And uh, this place used to be called Weenie World. So I have a picture of it. And it was a place that um, had every kind of hot dog imaginable. Those of you that have never eaten oysters before, um, there are some things you're supposed to do. Uh, you don't have to do them, but that's what they say. So first of all, you're only supposed to eat oysters in months that have an R. Um, and in months that have an R, like December, you know, January. So not May. Yeah, you're, you know, and re the reason is that um, it's not the temperature of the oyster, it's the temperature of the ocean when they're harvested. So you don't want to eat them in a hot month. Yes. Wow. All right. You're going to muscle it up or no? You don't have to. Do I'm not going to force you. Try a little ah, corner. Ahi is the best. Yeah, ahi. At least take the bread and dip it in the butter. Think the bread. Really good. At least if you're not going to eat the oyster, at least try that. So, did you guys ever watch um, Ozark on Netflix? So, uh, I've never heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, supposedly this was Jason Bateman's favorite restaurant to yeah. eat at when he was here. I he's mean, got they, a, he's got a signed picture up top, up top oh, upstairs, he? yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, most of it wasn't filmed here, but when they were here, they ate here. And um, so anyway, I like to point that out to people. That's pretty cool. Zach? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, me. Oh, I got you, bro. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, so have you ever had ahi tuna? Like uh, you should try this. It is, you'd be shocked. It's almost like Sarah steak. Sarah eats ahi tuna. It'll give you like a feeling of steak. Slaw. A coleslaw. Yeah, you want that You will slaw. be shocked it's really at good the slaw. flavor of an ahi and how mild it is. Not seafoody at all. That's yeah. seafoody. 
Not at all. No, that. Yeah. An oyster is. <laughs> Ooh, this place. So, Perry, where are we now? The brick house. And we're going to have some sliders. They're sweet southern smoky sliders. Okay, we're here at the brick house. And uh, what we have here is called the sweet southern smoky slider. It has a candied bacon on it, which have, you can make at home, by the way. It's really fun to make. But uh, And also a bacon jam, which is basically where you take bacon, you put it in a crock pot for like a day, a whole day, and uh, along with you know brown sugar and seasonings and things. And then you put it in a blender and turn it into a jam. So that's on here too. And Gouda cheese, which is the world's oldest cheese, by the way and then just their french fries so just dig in also this is angus beef which is the second best beef in the world this place has been a bunch of different things it's been a mexican restaurant it's been um, an ice cream shop um, it's been a bacon restaurant you know where, like every single thing had bacon in it do you remember when it was that no that was not too long ago but um yeah, it's been several different things. Now it's kind of got a Cajun theme, but more of a, just an American thing. You know, you said it. These portions are very small. I'm starting already starting to feel full. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Usually about now people are like, okay, I'm done. I'm like, no, you got more. I just like to show people how cool it is up here, you know. Our school does, we still make floats and have a parade and everything, down, and it's down the strip. This is the best place to watch the parade from here. So normally, these are open, and it's just air, you know. So anyway, I just wanted to show you. It's kind of neat up here. We're just in. See, there's Caribbean Mix. So this is just the back side. Where are we going oh, now, yeah. Perry? Okay, I want to show you some things back here. That's why we came out this door. So right over here, this parking lot, there used to be a building right here. And then this house, um, the woman who owns the... Uh, notice this rock. Um, you'll see this on buildings all around the lake, and this was... So if I didn't deprive you from this stuff, you would have heard what that lot used to be and who lives in that house and that, that brick or stone building what it used to be during Prohibition, you are going to have to book your own damn tour, no pun intended. Now I will say, the next stop, Roxy's, I thought that was a bar. The food, oh my God, check it out. It appears this little place called Lucy's, it's like a, a place to get cocktails. But back when the dam was first built, that was the grocery store. It's always full of people, people are always packed at this place. What are you showing us here? Uh, the front of the building, what it used to look like. The damn club. Alright. Okay, so when I decided what food to share with you I wanted something different and unusual that they make here and it's with an amazing beef and so I'm gonna let chef tell you about it so what you've got in front of you right now is a Wagyu corn dog made with uh, a gluten-free batter it is cornmeal and uh, jalapeno onion and uh, buttermilk and gluten-free flour for the batter and the corn dog the Wagyu beef that we also use here in the restaurant is locally sourced from uh, Hiroshi Ranch, which is just on Kaiser, right behind hy on D Road. If you're familiar with the area, Osage National Golf Course overlooks the farm and the ranch that we get our... You see the farm up on top of the hill? Yeah, that's where our, that's where our, that's where our cattle's raised uh, for the beef. Um, locally source our uh, vegetables as best we can from uh, Renegade Farms. The Brussels sprouts are done in a brown butter sauce and uh, topped with uh, bacon that's made in-house uh, every week. You also got two homemade sauces there. The uh, For the corn dog, we've got a horseradish sauce and for the Brussels sprouts, it's a uh, honey mustard. And then in the center, you've got uh, pickled red onions that have a 
they, they don't taste like an onion at all. You'll be really surprised. They're fantastic. That. You will love them. We try to do everything in the restaurant the best we can from uh, locally sourced, farm to table, and gluten free the best that we can. The only thing that we've got that's not gluten free are our buns and our mac and cheese, but you, we do do substitutes for that as well here in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And your buns are locally sourced as well. Yep, the buns are locally sourced yep. from like not even an eighth of a mile away. Right from next the to Caribbean Bowl. So mix. everything that we can get, we try and get locally. Yeah. Do you all enjoy? Do you have any all questions? Right. No, it was great. Thank you. I just think the food is so good here and people don't know. People just don't know. So I'm going to tell you guys a story. So um, I, when I was in high school, I got my pilot's license. And I actually learned how to fly before I learned how to drive a car. Wow. <laughs> so anyway, I'm like always interested in aviation and fun facts about that. So um, when Union Electric was building the dam, and they were from St. Louis, and they had an airplane and a pilot that would fly the, the big wigs, you know, back and forth to check on the progress of the dam. And the man who flew the plane for Union Electric is the same man who taught Charles Lindbergh how to fly. Oh, wow. Wow. It was his flight instructor. And so they became friends, and then uh, right, right around the same time that the dam was completed and all is the time that uh, Lindbergh flew, you know, did his transatlantic flight to France. And when he landed in France, they were like tearing his clothes off of him. They were tearing his plane apart to get souvenirs. They had to bring in the military to protect his plane so he could fly it home. And um, I mean, he was a big celebrity, you know, like Taylor Swift status, you know, at the time, just for doing that flight. And um, then he flew that plane, the Spirit of St. Louis, flew it all over the world, you know, showing off and everything. And um, everywhere he went, he was bombarded by people, paparazzi, like he had no peace, you know. And um, so he would fly to the Lake of the Ozarks to visit his friend who was that pilot. And he said that the only place in the entire world that people did not bombard him, the only place he got any peace was when he came to the lake wow. to see his friend. All right, so let me tell you a little about yeah. this. And here's a picture. So this building used to be the- Used to be, I'm not telling you. All right, we're gonna go in the top floor. So I want you guys to look down at the flooring when we first walk in, it's just kind of neat. It's like all pennies. And then, but we're gonna go downstairs. The downstairs is not usually open this time of day, but it is for us, cause we're special. <laughs> You've got a beautiful set of big old onion rings over there. And then Casablanca itself is the oldest bar on the strip. We've been here 91 years, which is the year Prohibition ended, which we kind of drove deep for for building the grotto. Um, the Brick family took over in 2010. From, I think they bought it from a local high school principal. Yes, um, Eddie Jordan. Jordan. Yes, Eddie Jordan. Yes, yes. Who you probably know. It's no, I never met Eddie no, Jordan. It's such a tiny town here, it really is. <laughs> so they bought it in 2010, they turned this into the grotto in 2012. Prior to that, it was an apartment. You are actually on the second level right now. There is the level above us, and then there used to be a fourth story that was a laundromat that burnt down in the 80s. So that's really interesting. So these onion rings, it's a special onion that they buy, and they have to soak it in cold water to get it to separate, you know? And um, it's a, a tempura batter, like a Japanese tempura batter. So it's very light and airy, but you definitely want that sauce with I'm it. I'm running out of room. I know. This is the last uh, real food. The last uh, sa oh, non, savory non food. Non-dessert food? Non-dessert food, oh, yes. Okay. And if you guys don't eat all the pizza, you can take it home in a to-go box. We did do a we did a top five pizza place at the lake uh, oh, this you past did? winter. And we so we had the audience kind of decide 
Who did narrow it down to five? Okay. The Fat Sal is actually one over at Lori. Oh. Uh, I, I, I love wood fired pizza. So yeah. this is my favorite place. This was my vote, but that did not win out. <laughs> to be fair, they were. They weren't all at the peak experience temperature yeah, also. at the time of yeah. the year. Oh. Would you get them and take them somewhere? Home, yeah. yeah. Okay. It was what? Fat Sal's, Casablanca, Chevy's, uh, Papo's. Papo's. Oh, Papo's is one? good. Oh, Alley Cat's. So great. Let me stop you for a minute. So, Summer USA, this whole, all this area, but it was further back on the hill, used to be this place right here. It was called Phantom Acres. Phantom Acres, that was a cool one, and evidently a master marketer as well. We're gonna go to Grandma's Candy Kitchen, which started out as a tobacco shop, and uh, then a man bought it whose last name was Sweets. So he opened a candy shop, and it was Mr. Sweets Candy Shop. Then the new owners changed it to Grandma's Candy Kitchen, and it's been that ever since. So you guys get to pick out a piece of taffy that you want, and then they're also going to give us some fudge. Oh. All right, can you tell us what we have here today, yeah, my darling? We have a carrot cake, which is our seasonal flavor, and then we have Ooh. a dark chocolate with sea salt. Awesome. She's also one of my former students here. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing you guys. Did they make all their fudge in-house? Mm -hmm. Did you make it? I've made a few of them. Yep. So, yes. <laughs> carrot cake's good. Is it good? Just like it. As soon as I bite into it. Yeah. It's dark chocolate. Caramel. Yeah. Okay. Fun fact about fudge is um, you had to know how to temper chocolate. You had to know how to really take care of the, the heating and the cooling and all to make a candy out of chocolate. And so um, someone came up with this recipe that didn't involve all of that tempering and it was easy to make. You just had to mix some stuff up and you had this chocolate dessert and so everyone said that you were fudging on the recipe like you're you're like not doing it right so you're you fudged on it so that's how fudge got its name the scene in ozark where the little boy gets lost and this in this arcade this arcade has been in business for 55 years so this store right here is dog patch but uh back like in the 40s and 50s the dog patch was here, but they had this whole thing back behind. I'm gonna show you guys. You don't even know this is here. I know, that's why I like to show people. Yeah, we've been to the arcade, so we've stumbled upon it, but. Uh huh. And this arcade is a lot bigger than you think yeah. from the front. I mean, it goes all the way back. There are some hidden relics back here, as well as a really cool story about a lion that used to be on the strip. As far as I know, a developer bought all of these from the Page Brothers, and. There's plans in the works to do big, wonderful things. So oh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but both of our schools have a strip club by them. I don't know, it's like, a, it's like a running joke. Like why do all our schools have a strip club by them? Why do I have this sudden urge to re-enroll in school? But the strip club over here, that's just right down the street mm -hmm. from our school, <laughs> um, it used to be an aquarium. Oh. Isn't that interesting? An aquarium. There's a joke in there somewhere, Jeff. So, I'm thinking of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and of course, over the next few minutes of the tour, that's about all I thought about, and I did deliver. Stay tuned. Let's talk about the Indian. So the Indian is made of fiberglass, and then we have the. He's called the Ozark Half Wit across the street, huh. and um, Ozark Half Wit. That's what they called it. I know it's not very nice. But um, they're made out of fiberglass, and these were made in the 70s in California. And um, in the 70s and 80s, they were everywhere. I mean, they were like along the highway. There were thousands and thousands of them in the United States. So over the years, because they're fiberglass and they're very easily broken, 
they've just all vanished. And there's 180 left in the United States. Mm. And what's really cool is we have two of them here. Yeah. You know? What about the one at Bass Point? From aquarium to strip club, carrying on the wet tradition. Okay, so. Yeah. Zach appreciated my immature humor. You got something better than that one? So just start looking at the Indian, okay? Keep looking, keep looking. About right here, about right here, you'll see it. Come stand where I'm standing. Oh, yeah. Just about right here, you'll notice. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> That's hilarious. I've had people who've lived here their whole life and they didn't know that it did that. So, well, that it's his. I do not know the answer to people. that. Okay, we're back where we started and we're going to eat one more thing a dessert. This right here is where it's at. So this is Grandpa right here, and he and Grandma uh, spend their winters in Florida. And when they go to Florida, they come back with key limes. And then Grandma, she makes she makes the key lime. Pie. Grandpa made this one, so uh, they make the key lime pie in house with the key limes from Florida. And um, yeah, so give it a try. It. What I like about it, this is like really. Pun, you know, like if you like in your face, smack you in the face, the sourness, <laughs> that's what it is. It's like the best key lime pie I've ever eaten. <laughs> so you've already had it before? Many times. Okay. <laughs> Just earlier this week, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have not, so, and I'm a big fan of key lime, so. Well, I mean, I figure people, everyone's had ice cream before, probably, so I don't feel like I need to give people ice cream. Yeah, this is just so you can taste the cone, their homemade cone that they make in-house. It's delicious. So y'all just break that up and share amongst yourselves. So, <laughs> Isn't it good? Yes. Like it's a real powerful kind. <laughs> so this is the end. Did you guys have fun? Oh, so we had fun. Good. Good. Thank you. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do some recaps and get their opinions on what their favorites were. And, okay. Yeah. And then we'll let everybody know where they can book them. Perfect. Yeah. That sounds great. All right. We are wrapped up. Here, here's a summary of what we did today minus uh, we didn't do alley cats but we added the caribbean sue what was yeah. your favorite or what was your best part of what, what did you think is it the whole thing was great so um but the pizza at casablanca was wonderful the little presentation from the little gal was great um yeah it was good it was really good i had a fun time yeah. fun time katie you can't dodge me forever i know what did you think about today uh today was great uh it's was so much fun. I really enjoyed getting to hear the history of the dam and all the shops and things that used to be here that have been gone longer than me, <laughs> so I wouldn't remember. Um, but with the food, it's uh, really hard to choose. I mean, everything we ate was phenomenal, but I think my favorite was Roxy's with the Wagyu beef corn dog, um, and I love Brussels, so anytime I get those, that's great. Yeah. And then I have to pick a uh, dessert as well. Key lime pie, grandpa's ice cream. This is one of my favorites. Uh, I bring my kids here all the time. Awesome, thank you. Zach, mostly nobody really cares what you think, but we're going to ask just for Perry. You know, Jeff, thank you for that intro. Uh, my opinion is irrelevant, but I will give it either way. Uh, you know, I, I've lived here for a year, and we've been coming here for, what, 15 years or something like that? And, uh, I felt like I was walking through this the strip with a local for the first time in my entire life, which was in sayings I considered myself that until about you know three hours ago, and so it was great to walk through all that and to learn more history, to to eat the food, um, you, you experience it differently with someone who knows, and um, obviously is um, very well versed on the culture of the lake and the food and the people. And um, it was great to get to meet some of the chefs and do some of that stuff. So uh, phenomenal experience today. What was your favorite? What was your favorite? Uh, if, you, if you had to pick your favorite today, what would it be? Oh, man. Uh, well, the key lime pie is always a, a hit for me. So Grandpa's. Huh? Grandpa's is fantastic. Um, I did buy an entire bag of fudge, to be fair, um, and I ate most of it. So there's that. 
Um, now, if you had to say uh, you've been to you've been here, you've been to Tucker's. So, of the places you'd never been to, which one would you go back to first? Uh, probably Roxy's. Probably go there first. But a close second would be the uh, the walk and roll place. I think for me, because it's really good. But that's really hard, man. Because we went through some really good stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. well, good thing you don't have to choose. My wife gets to choose. <laughs> well, I am stuffed. Uh-huh. <laughs> We're back to where we started, and I don't even know what time it is, but we did that under three hours. Yeah. It was, uh, I mean, the only way I could describe that, and you just heard from the other people that were on the tour, you know, we got to experience places that I didn't even know existed. Yeah. Like, you just, they go right over your head because, you know, Tucker Shuckers grabs your attention. Certain mm -hmm. places grab your attention, mm -hmm. and that there's so many cool pl spots. Yeah. I had never even been to Grandpa's. I knew it was here, but I just never. And I'm typically yeah. here for a different reason. And, right. Yeah, and it was it was really incredible. So, how often yeah. do you mix and match these restaurants, or is it very is it pretty typical? Like what it's we did pretty today? much the same places cool. every time. I mean, every now and then, if if a restaurant says they're too busy that day or something, I'll. I'll make weave in something yeah, else something yeah something else yeah i will say and and you heard zach and katie both say it i said the same thing i've been by roxy's a thousand times i just assumed it was a dive bar yep and that was probably i would say the bougiest isn't it food it's, that we had on this tour it's amazing yeah yeah that was yeah, really cool it's really good that was really cool so, yeah and that's what i love is just getting to show people all yeah. these neat places that they probably i never think done. people have preconceived ideas and exactly. this helps yeah. them to see that it's not what they thought. To change that, yeah. 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 And and if you follow our channel, you already know that I think Casablanca is the best pizza at the lake already. <laughs> I think it was validated for Zach, who was uh, who did not vote for Casablanca, because when uh. you have a wood-fired pizza hot versus cold, it makes a big difference because yes. of that crispiness. And it was incredible. Yes. So. Perry, if somebody saw this for the first time today, had no idea you existed, now they know that more is coming. When is when are those uh, next tours coming? Is that in the spring? Probably the spring. Awesome. Yes. Okay. And if somebody wanted to learn more, connect with you, book with you, how do they do so? Uh, just go online to lakeozartfoodtours.com. Awesome. And you can book there and also just see more about it and if they want to connect with you they can nice they can do it through that website yes and there's a phone number on the website too awesome so. and that just goes straight to you yep yep what a great idea thank you for doing absolutely. this absolutely thank is so you much i'm fun. glad you guys came absolutely thank you for watching another episode on the lake of the ozarks lifestyle channel and remember if you are looking to buy sell rent invest vacation pretty much do anything at the lake of the ozarks we've got you covered shoot me a message and I will make sure to get you connected to the right people to make sure that your experience at the Lake of the Ozarks is an incredible one. Thank you for your loyalty to our channel. Don't keep us a secret. Make sure you share this with other people that would be interested. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. See you on the next one.